everyone, it's Paige and welcome back to another ShotScope coaching series provided by ShotScope. I'm really excited about this one because I looked into the data, which is always so fascinating to see, and it actually went against some of the things that I believe, this is a short game video, about short game. And so I'm really excited because I feel like I can help you a little bit better with your short game because we've done so many short game videos in the past, but there's a little bit different information and we also have the data to support all of the information in my coaching. So I love teaming up with people like ShotScope because I feel that it makes me a better golfer, but it also makes me a better instructor. One of my biggest passions is teaching the game of golf. I like to do it in a very simplified form. And so combining that with the data with ShotScope, I think is really taking my instruction to the next level and hopefully your game to the next level as well because I'm only doing this for you guys to enjoy the game a little bit more and to shoot lower scores. And that comes down to having better short game. So I'm gonna give you three tips that's gonna help you improve your short game and lower your scores. So let's just get right into it. Most of the time when you're just off the green, most people will grab a wedge and try to chip it. But ShotScope says that the data supports putting it is always the best option when you're off the green because when you're chipping it, there's a chance of you hitting it fat, hitting it thin, and you're always going to hit it closer to the pin with your putter compared to your wedge. And I know people give you a hard time if you are off the green and you are choosing to hit a putter, but you can hit it far back as you want and it's going to be okay. So again, always grab your putter for these type of shots. say I am really good with my wedge but I know for a fact that I don't think I would get two shots off the bat um, a little bit cold closer than I would with my putter so again it doesn't matter what skill level you are taking your putter just off the green off of a tight line and it doesn't matter how far back you are it's always going to be way better than hitting your wedge especially for a small shot like this when you don't have much green to work with and a bit of a collar Hitting a wedge is going to be such a very touchy shot and it's difficult to know exactly where to land it. So again, throw that club to the side, grab your putter, and this is always going to be your go-to. Again. Leave a wedge at home. <laughs> Anytime you're on the short grass, around the greens, grab your putter. I always talk about this, and it's about managing your expectations, especially around the greens. A scratch golfer from zero to 20 yards, their average is 7.4 feet. Just think about that for a second. I know a lot of people, if they had a seven footer putt for their part, they'd be upset about it, but it just shows you how difficult short game shots are. And so it's managing your expectations. And I think once you do that, you're gonna feel a lot more confident around the greens and not putting so much pressure on yourself. I think a lot of people get so tense and so uptight because they have these shots and they're like, I need to get this up and down, I need to get this up and down. They end up hitting it fat thin, shanking it, whatever, and they're not even getting it on the green the first time because they're trying so hard to get it within a foot so they have a tap in for their par. So manage your expectations, especially when it comes to shots that you think might be kind of easy that are actually a bit more difficult. And it just comes with experience about knowing what shots are difficult. For example, this shot right here, when you come up to it, you're like, this is just a basic chip shot. Um, it's off, there's no roughs that I need to deal with, but this is what's difficult. This lie is a bit fluffy, but also tight and a little wet, so you have to clip it absolutely perfect. So you have to look at the lie first and say, what's the lie doing? You can tell from a divot right here that it's a little wet underneath, and so I like to see what's happening around me. So even though it's a tight lie, 
I can't hit it down as hard as I want at the golf ball because there's a little moisture in the grass, which means it's gonna be, my club's gonna dig, especially if I have the leading edge moving forward. So, so instead of having my leading edge digging into the ground, I'm going to open the club face a little bit more. And so when it comes through impact, it's going to almost skim the grass instead of digging into the grass. So when it's wet and moist, open that club just a little bit more. When you open a club, it's gonna make it go a little higher in the air. So your landing spot's gonna move forward just a little bit because you're gonna get a little bit more spin on the golf ball. It's gonna land a little bit softer. So now this turns into a shot where you have to clip it absolutely perfect and land it in the right spot for it to turn out well. And I didn't hit it exactly how I wanted to, but that's about seven feet. So again, it just shows you that I have all the experience. I'm a real, I feel like I'm really good with my short game. And that was as good as I could have done from this situation, this lie, and that's okay. We can still make that putt, we can still keep going, but manage your expectations. If you try to be too cute with it, that's when you start to hit it too high. You hang these shots that just don't feel that comfortable. Sometimes that safe shot's always the best shot. So open your club face, hit just an easy little chip shot, land it on the green, and then trust it from there. So that shot right there wasn't necessarily the perfect shot to hit to get it close, but it was the best shot that I need to hit under pressure with a lie that I wasn't too sure about with a short-sided pin, and I will take that all day long. So again, managing your expectations and knowing the shot, analyzing the shot, going through all of the steps is really gonna help you. Another great way to improve your short game is to, again, remove the wedge. We talked about this before when it comes around the greens, that putting is always the best option, but sometimes when you're in the rough, you can't putt it because there's too much that you have to get through. So taking a less lofted club, like a seven, eight, nine, or pitching wedge is a much better option than taking a really lofted club. And this is a personal preference, even though the data supports that taking a less lofted club is actually better. So if you are not confident with your short game at all, I recommend taking a less lofted club. I personally have always used a lofted club, but even I have noticed that when I have long shots and need to hit a bump and run, I tend to have to hit my wedge really hard to get there. And sometimes when I hit it and I don't get it there, you're halfway there, it spins too much. It's really unpredictable. But when you have a less lofted club, you really just have to get it on the green and it just rolls from there. So for the shot, for example, we're in the rough and you can't putt it. So next thing I would do is grab a wedge. The problem is when you hit your wedge, I had to hit that so hard and still, I didn't hit a good shot. It was unpredictable of how it was gonna come out and I flew it way too far because I just wasn't sure. But grabbing a less lofted club than my 54, I have a pitching wedge here. All you have to do is do a basic setup. So narrow stance, choke down, really just rock your shoulders. Make sure you hit good contact. And then from there, the ball is just going to roll and roll and roll. It wasn't my, my best shot. <laughs> I actually struggle with bump and runs to be completely transparent because I always hit my 54. So this is a shot that I actually would like to get a little bit better at. But even for me, it was very limited practice. Those are really great shots and that's a shot I would take all day long because we know, <laughs> we've already learned this, that a good average is around seven feet. So don't get too hard on yourself. So we learned that taking a less lofted club is a better option for the wedge. We learned that a putter is better than the wedge and to lower your expectations. And if you do all those things, your short game is going to improve. You're also gonna have more fun when you lower your expectations. And you're gonna shoot lower scores because I always tell people this, working on your short game is the best and quickest way to lower your scores. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment down below, subscribe to my channel, uh, like this video, and I'll see you guys next Thursday.